Dear students, now we will do the next question. Next question sir, is what is community health? Question number three. What is what is What is community hygiene? Right? This is for this to maintain community hygiene. This is for ways to maintain Community hygiene. Community hygiene is simply, you can say, is to keep our surrounding free from. Dust, dirt, germs, vectors, and garbage. Right? So, community hygiene is to keep our surrounding free from dust, dirt. Germs, dust, dirt, germs, vectors, and hybrids. Right? Because these are the aspects that cause us disease. Right? So, four ways. Four ways. Four ways to keep the community. The first thing is proper disposal of waste. In our day to day life, at our houses, at our business homes, in the in the surrounding, lot of waste is produced. Solid waste, liquid waste. Biodegradable waste, non biodegradable waste, so different types of waste are produced. They must be disposed of properly and So, proper disposal of waste, right? That is the first way to keep the surrounding neat and clean or maintain the community hard. Right? Means, at your house, you have to. You have to segregate the waste, means separate the waste. If it is the food remains, keep in one waste. Banana peels, apple peels, onion peels, leftover food, right? So this type of waste in one waste. And then biodegradable dry waste, right? Like paper bits, newspaper bits. Wooden bits, this should be kept in another one. And in another dustbin, you should keep the non biodegradable waste like polythenes, plastics, harmful chemicals, right? Or sometimes sanitary um, cleansing agents, right? 
these things should be kept in separate ways and they should be disposed of properly right solid waste should be maybe converted into compost you have read i have told you in sfpw how to convert them into the manure that is that becomes useful material for our crop fields or the kitchen garden right so the first thing we must have is proper disposal second important thing is should not allow the water to collect it in this at a place for long because water collected at a place for long becomes the breeding place for mosquitoes and you know mosquitoes are the vectors or the insects that transmit various kinds of germs that may cause malaria that may cause dengue right so should not allow the water to collect at a place for the second thing is drains should be properly covered drains should be properly covered because inside the drain stagnant water is there and this water is a very good breeding place for mosquitoes and again they will spread the disease causing germs right so stagnation of water should be avoided drain should be properly covered the food thing at frequent intervals the hoping of the hoping of insecticides be done at shorter intervals frequently to kill the mosquitoes or other insects right which become the vector for spreading the diseases right then people should have good habits people should be be made aware of not speaking not speaking urinating or defecating here there you know people are in certain communities people are illiterate and they do not have good living or lifestyles they are not aware of these infections so what they do at any place they find that they but their suitability they just simply spit many chew the tobacco and the beetle and they spit here and there on the walls on the road side near the houses so with their spit the they contaminate the surrounding air with that if they are infected the germs may come into air and other people living in the surrounding may get infected so people those who have this bad habit of spitting or urinating discharging urine here and there defecating right here and there so they should be made aware of the its harmful effects 
that it means spread the disease in the whole community and people may suffer. Do you follow? Then, oh, it was previous asked me four ways, right? At least four ways. And I have been five, right? So you may be there for There are many more ways to keep your community neat and clean, but four are us and you can be very part. Then, question number four. Question number four is what are question number four? What are deficiencies this is? What are deficiencies this is? Explain with example. Explain with examples. Examples. So with this, we complete the exercises. What we ask for these questions asked in your book. So complete this and prepare accordingly for the examination. Right? Spend more time on revising and learning by heart these questions. 
okay if you face any kind of problem any doubt you may call me as i have told you in the class okay a good day thank you